I don't have racks on racks on racks like that because I'm still paying back Uncle Sam. Well, actually, I do. They're just... It's in retirement, so clearly I can't touch it. All right, but I got socks on socks thanks to H&M. So, yes, I picked up more socks, but also... We had 24,000 subscribers. We have entered the Kobe, I don't know if we want to call it year, just moment of, of subscriber count, but thank you. Like, wow. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. What's going on everybody? It's your girl TJ back with another video talks with TJ aka TJ Two Swoosh T Yeezy MA2 TJ all the nicknames. Thank you again so much for tuning in to another video and more importantly thank you for 24,000 subscribers. Like I don't say that lightly and clearly no every person that subscribes they're not watching every single video you upload they're not engaging with every single video but at some point there's something I communicated, I displayed that resonated with you in a video enough to hit the subscribe button. And I don't take that lightly. I really appreciate it. You could be doing a lot of different things, you know, other things with your time. And a lot of you still choose to come tune in and support. So thank you again so much for that. And listen, I do my best to steer you guys in the right direction, especially for budget fines or just, you know, sensible ways to go about shopping for, for things like, understand the motto will always well it'll always be to act your age and not your shoe size okay but also buy what you like buy within your budget and those two should be just as important always make sure that you're doing that um i just i just feel like that's best okay it's easy to get caught up in even what our own friends are buying right listen i got some friends that are in different tax brackets and i'm like awesome really proud and happy for you of what you just bought that's not me right now at that stage in life uh nor is that maybe the priority that i have right now so that's just just a little something to share with you guys but i really wanted to say thank you again for 24,000 subscribers when it comes to you know anything 24 related i of course i, I do kind of link it <laughs> related back to kobe um just special in terms of the grind it is a slower grind for me being a pretty non-conventional sneaker channel uh, so it's a little bit of a slower one you have to be consistently just focused dedicated honed in and that's not the easiest thing to do when you will have so many different obstacles and things that just really you know come up you have to face you have to overcome and i just hope that you all take that into account just personally for your own lives like to get to places that open doors it honestly doesn't happen overnight. I know a lot of people might go viral and that's awesome, but again, the viral pops or flashes in the pan, are those sustainable to continue to get to successful heights or places? Probably not. And that's actually something that, you know, was said by myself in a very just, you know, humbling monumental moment in not just in my life, but but sneakers and, you know, the kickback space that I co-host with, uh, you know, Jazzare, uh, Jerlisa, Kari and Shake. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about on Friday, September 10th, uh, we had the April Walker on the show. I have to pause when I say this because please tell me, you know, who April Walker is. If you don't, if you're into streetwear, I don't care the, the, the brand. I don't care the brand. If you're into streetwear, you need to thank her because if it wasn't for the likes of her way back when, and I'm talking Biggie, Tupac, Run DMC, if it wasn't for her then, we wouldn't have what we think of and know as streetwear right now. So always to me, I'm just somebody, pay respects to the OGs. They are the reason that we can enjoy a lot of the things we do today. They bucked against uh, conformity and what people thought was in, and they just stayed true to themselves, especially they stayed true to the culture of hip hop and more. Uh, and I was, I was honored, I was blessed to interview her now. That in itself was a blessing just to speak to her, um, you know, really just take in her energy, her wisdom, because she dropped a lot of gems on Friday in the kickback. But we were speaking on something that isn't lighthearted and isn't fun. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about right now, there are current filings in court at both the state and federal level 
against Virgil Abloh, uh, Farfetch, Off-White, and then also a third entity based on just blatant theft of April's design. So uh, again, if you're not familiar, I'll be sure to also link her essay below. We touched on some of that in the interview on Friday, but you know, April is the owner, the founder of Walker Wear. So if you've ever heard that term, that's who is referring to April. And again, Walker Wear dates all the way back. Like you can see the, the jet and essence in all of these hip hop magazines where you know, big, I mean, monumentally big artists are wearing her design. So that's the, listen, this is not lighthearted. Oh, she's maybe somebody. No, April is the somebody. And so the WW, the double W's, <laughs> they are iconic to her designs. You can find them right now on her website, actually. I'm um, on pieces. So she woke up one day earlier this year and She's getting all of these congratulatory texts and messages like, oh my God, this is so amazing. Look at your work. I didn't know it hit because it hit like big retailers, big, just it, it was major, but it wasn't her work. Oh, it was her design. It was her idea. It was just done by Virgil without permission or respect to the fact that it was her design. It's called creative theft. It happens a lot. It happens much more than we know, um, as they call it, the 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 drive by the drive bys in fashion. That's a term that she used. Where, you know, especially with social media, everyone's sharing everything right now. Smaller designers are taken advantage of, and the truth is, they may not have the firepower to fight back against the bigger entities or bigger designers or fashion houses, whether it be Virgil Abloh or someone else, because he's not the only person that's done this. This is also not the only time he's been accused of that. And yes, I can objectively say like, this is wrong on every level. I can own your items and still hold you accountable for something. Virgil needs to be held accountable for this. So April received, you know, all these congratulatory texts, but it wasn't her work approved. She didn't authorize this. They just stole it and didn't care. And I love that she said, you know, cause I, I was curious, like in that immediate moment, what emotion flowed over you? And she said, disappointment. She was disappointed. And as a black and brown woman to have this slight taken against you by another black man, it has to be disappointing on a multitude of levels. And that was expressed too. So, you know, once she came down from just, you know, that emotional roller coaster, let, let a neutral state kick in and think logically, what's the next step? Well, listen, acquire representation, trusted representation and take it to court. Cease and desist, were, you know, that was sent. None of them cared. None of them. They continue to sell. And they are selling her designs on their jackets for north of, I think, $1,500. So making out like a true robber <laughs> um, in this situation, it's it's extremely wild to see. And, you know, I'm really just, just proud of her. I am... Oh, I think it's empowering to know that somebody, after all this time of being in this space, in this uh, industry, she still got that fight in her to take it to someone that just thinks they can step over her, step on her, and that nothing will be done about it. No, she's doing something about it. And I think more people need to know about this. I don't know that I've seen uh, this spoken about, at least within the immediate space of, you know, sneaker or sneaker YouTube. So I wanted to make sure that I spoke on it. One, because it's just important. But two, you know, having the, the honor to speak with her, you realize that you know, I think we take for granted everything that goes into building these brands that we love and we support. And yeah, look how many of us complain about Nike or Adidas or the difficulty of things, but there are some that are doing it right. They've been doing it right since the, the dawn of time when it comes to streetwear truly being a thing or in existence. And now uh, it's, it's, it's just being disrespected. And so I'm proud of her because she's got the firepower, okay? She's got the dollars to fight this. And I think based on the precedence that her outcome could set in court, could maybe change the tide of how some other smaller designers have to go up against these large, you know, giants in the industry. And it's beyond unfortunate to see. I hate that it's even a thing, but I'm proud of April for taking that fight up. And I know that I support her. Hopefully you guys, you know, look into it. You can all absolutely gather your own thoughts on it. But for me, 
behind april 100 percent and i will be following along closely to see where it leads um when i tell you though like just to again have that opportunity to moderate facilitate uh interview her it's it, it'll always stick with me <laughs> hopefully you guys see how smiling. it'll always stick with me and just super grateful right like i i feel like i dabble in streetwear i style things that i love i don't consider myself a stylist i'm absolutely not a designer by any means but you know to think the things that i enjoy in fashion that's possible because of her right that's possible because of the things she did early on and i think we need to continue to pay respect to the past otherwise the future just seems i don't know really self-centered but those are just my thoughts on the situation if you if this is your first time hearing about it please sound off i absolutely want to know your thoughts on the situation again all respect um to april walker thank you again for everything you've done in the space of streetwear sneakers hip-hop culture blackness all of that um and thank you all again for 24,000 subscribers it's um it's a lot and i am uh grateful blessed to have brought in 24k with that moment and we got more socks so again i'm trying to put you guys up on game all right so h&m has unbranded you know side well they're h&m brand but they don't show like the sneaker logos that we're used to so you can absolutely um get these and then they have other options too so i have these are the striped ones so they're like a cream tone and they're striped so if you're into the striped socks like myself you know, more options out here. There are absolutely more options. I'm just trying to put you guys up on game. We should share, uh, you know, as much as we can. We're all out here just struggling to get clothes, get shoes, get everything. So <laughs> thank you guys again so much. Um, if you like what you saw, like what you heard, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I truly appreciate it. And as always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace out.